Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be touring the Charleston. Listen, beautiful home. I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get into the video. Y'all, I'm out here at Oakwood Homes in Lexington, South Carolina. They have so many homes out here, and I'm so excited to bring it to you. So this first home is called the Charleston. The Charleston is a four bedroom, two bath. It does have an option for a five bedroom. We're gonna get into the inside of the house first, but I wanted you to see the external view of the home. You have a side door here, and then I'm gonna try to go around as best I can. I'm not going all the way back there. They spotted a snake this morning, and if you don't know anything about me, please know that I don't mess with snakes, okay? So that's the view you get in the back. We're gonna go ahead in the front and I'm gonna let you see how that looks because that's where we wanna be. All right, so this is the view you see when you walk into the house. I wanna go in and spin around and let you take a look at your living room. You have your living room here. Um, this house does have carpet. Again, if, if that's not something that you want, you can always, in the ordering process of the home, request no carpet. The updated vinyl can be used throughout the home. I love the colors that they use in here. I think the grays go well together. Love the color of the carpet. It works well with the color uh, of the vinyl flooring. And this is a decent sized living room, you guys. Really nice. So here's your view of the kitchen. As you can see, there is a huge island and we're gonna get into that in a minute. I just wanted to give you one more opportunity to see the whole view from here but you you got a dining room kitchen and a bonus room all in one so very nice this is your dining room you guys this is a decent size table it's kind of an oval shaped table it has four chairs but I feel you could put a bigger table here maybe one that seats six or eight and get away with it but this is your dining room you do have a window in the dining room so you have some light coming in and it sits right next to the kitchen. So if you're entertaining, you can see both rooms. Now here is your pantry. Really nice size pantry. I probably would upgrade the wire shelving in here. Just because that island and that view is so super nice, I would want upgrades in this room. I would probably do L shape also with the shelves just to give me some more storage space. Now, as far as the kitchen is concerned, I love the dark colored countertops in here. And it kind of looks brown on the video, but these are dark gray cabinets. And then you have white cabinets in the island. Your sink is in the island, so you have a dishwasher there as well. But this island is so huge, you guys. They only have four seats there, but you could probably put, with that kind of stool, three on each side. So. Just imagine what dinner parties and cookouts and stuff would look like from this view right here. Really nice, love it. It's even space to put a bar cart here. It actually works if that's something that you want in your house and it doesn't necessarily have to go there but I think it's super cute. So this is a view of the kitchen from this way. Really nice. You've got a ceramic top stove in here and you've got a huge refrigerator, which is always a plus. And I love the backsplash, really nice. This is actually a five burner stove and this is your view of the oven. Really, really nice, you guys. <clears throat> a lot of space in these cabinets, really nice. Now this wouldn't necessarily be the refrigerator that you choose, but I did want to give you a look at this one in case you're interested. <laughs> I just love looking in all of the uh, spaces, so if that's something that you like, here you go, girl. Anyway, 
Let's take another look around the kitchen. It's super hot, y'all. I had to stop and grab me a uh, sip of that caramel frappe, but now it's on to your bonus room. This could be your den, family room, uh, playroom, nursery, I don't know, craft room, multi-purpose room, man cave. It's really up to you, but you got a nice size little bonus room right here. Really lovely. This is really a large space. I love the size of this home, you guys. It's so much space to do so much with and to move around in. Now on this side of the house, you have your additional bedrooms. This is additional bedroom number one. A nice size bedroom, really nice size bedroom, but this is additional bedroom number one. In this room, you have a walk-in closet, which is really nice. Again, make sure you have enough shelving space so you can absolutely bring that around to this third wall if you wanted to but i love the room in this closet the next room we're going to look at is the additional bathroom it's kind of in sections because it has that wall there where the tub and shower is but you've got two sinks in here and both of them have plenty of space, which is always a plus. I love the fact that they put two sinks in here so all the kids can get ready at one time. All right, across from your additional bathroom, you have another bedroom. Again, another nice space for a bedroom. Um, you have another walk-in closet in this room. Really nice. If I have the specs, I'll put them all uh, on the uh, video. But look, plenty of space in these walk-in closets nice size rooms i love it now i did say that this house has an option for a five bedroom you could actually order this house without the family room which i think is a waste of space unless you just have a large family and you want to make that a bedroom um but i would love to have this house and keep the bonus room me personally this is the third bedroom it seems that this may be the largest of the additional bedrooms, but I'm not sure because I'm not looking at the spec sheet. This room also has another walk-in closet. And this carpet, this closet does not have carpet in it. So that is a plus. So really nice. Again, this is the third additional bedroom. This one has four bedrooms, two baths. You can uh, delete the bonus room and have a fifth bedroom. And last but not least, you have this huge utility room. This is where the side door is. You have space for deep freezers, storage, shelving, all kind of things in here. Uh, this is your uh, fuse box. And then your water heater goes there. I'll open the door earlier where the AC unit is. And your washer and dryer would go in this space. So really nice. We're gonna walk back through the house. This is a long walk, you guys. This house is huge. But we'll walk back through the house and take a look at the primary uh, bedroom. Let you guys take a look at that and see what that has to offer. I love the fact that the primary bedroom is not right off the living room. Um, you actually have to go through the dining room to get there. This is a pretty nice size 
uh, bedroom here. You could definitely put a king size bed in here and if you want it to create a little sitting area or put a chase lounge in this area, you could do that as well. You have a walk-in closet over here. Yes, the closet is separate from the, from the uh, primary bath and it is a huge closet, you guys. I would put additional shelving in here or additional, um, yeah, additional shelving so that I can have lower and upper um, hanging space, but overall pretty cool. And this bathroom has a double sink. You have a separate tub and shower, large windows in here, bringing in a lot of light. Love, love, love it. Love all the cabinet space in here. Just overall, a nice area and a nice bathroom. I think it's a good size too. My bathroom is large for no reason. Like it just, it just doesn't, to me, it's just big for no reason. It's a lot of space to clean. It makes it nice to be able to move around in, but this is a, I love this. This bathroom is cozy and it's nice. So very well done. The shower has two foot stools or seating area, depending on the size of where you sit. For me, those would be foot stools. So, but you do have it. Beautiful, beautiful tub. Love the big picture windows by the tub. This house deserves to be out in the country where you don't have neighbors or put you some good blinds in here, okay, for at night. But love, love, love it. Love the deep tub. You have storage space in here. And uh, your, uh, your uh, throne is right there. So really lovely. All right, you guys, thanks so much for touring to Charleston. This is a four bedroom, two bath. It's 2,025 square feet. And the base price of this home is $146,200. Now with set up and delivery, it comes to $169,900. Keep that in mind. And if you're interested in this home, it's, in, uh, it's at Oakwood Homes in Lexington, South Carolina. All the information will be in the description box. See you in the next video.